Hey YouTube, Nomad76 back with you to finish up or for part two of the uh, Bofang uh, charger that I'm building so that I could charge off of a standard vehicle 12 volt, you know, like cigarette lighter <clears throat> style uh, power source. So part one, and if you haven't seen that, I'll throw in the link. Uh, started off with this regulator got off of eBay um, which requires uh, I did a little more research and learned that it uh, because of this heat sink obviously it's it's creating heat it needs this heat sink so it doesn't overheat because there's a there's a in the, either in the chip or whatever it, um, it it if it senses the temperatures is too high it will shut it down so putting it in a closed uh, box like this uh, it would definitely overheat without any sort of ventilation and of course my initial my intent here is to make it uh, a water resistant uh, setup so I could use it out in the field um, <clears throat> with you know a little effect of from moisture so uh, this box was purchased uh, from Lowe's for about $4.99 it is a uh, like a plastic enclosure box it has of course it has the seal here so it is considered waterproof now you put these gland um, connectors through here and they have a rubber uh, in the end here see these these ones here were let's see what size did I get the PG9 so if you if you search those on uh, Amazon you can get those I bought a bag of like 10 of them um, for this style of wire I probably need a little smaller uh, to tighten it down all the way, but uh, we'll I'll show you what I'm gonna what my next step is here. So this system with the new what's called a buck converter or a step down converter buck step down converter. I've seen multiple names on eBay. Bought a bag of ten of them. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll throw the prices in down below or here on the screen somewhere. Um, so like I said, bought a bag of ten because they were they were cheap, and it was a U.S. distributor, uh, so I didn't have to wait too long for shipping. Um, all right, so with my uh, power supply on, I can go ahead here and show you, and we'll see how well it's done. It I messed with it in a little while, so I'm getting eight point. I know you can't see that. Let me. 8.3 volts to you know so right in there which is right around ideal because if you look back here um, output should be around 8.4 uh, so this has a step down that steps it down from 10 I've got this set so there's a little uh, adjustable screw right here you're gonna need a small like jewelers screwdriver to adjust that it's a little flat tip and you can adjust that obviously uh, clockwise to increase the voltage, uh, counterclockwise to de decrease the voltage. Um, so that, with the buck converter like this, it uh, it doesn't relatively, from what I've uh, uh, researched, it uh, doesn't cause, you know, doesn't produce really any heat. Uh, so there won't be an itch uh, issue with it being enclosed like this. Um, so in part three, um, we're going to go ahead, I bought this, it's just a waterproof junction box off, EV, uh, off of Amazon, six bucks, it was a little steep for this small box, but it had everything I needed, excuse me, I don't need those, um, but this is set up, I think they're used for like underground, like if you're doing either um, landscaping, uh, or the sprinklers, you know, your yard sprinklers or something if you had to do a junction under uh, underground you know, or something like that. But um, So this box is small, therefore one of these uh, buck converters is going to fit in here really, really well. Um, and, and then this, I, it obviously it's not going to be watertight unless I put the screws in it because it doesn't seal down on that gasket very well. But it has smaller glands on it, so it's going to work better for the smaller cords that I made here. 
um, to hook up to the charger. And I guess just to demonstrate before I end this, it is it will charge the the radio. So so far successful. Uh, I'm going to continue. I'm going to swap, like I said, the, or put one of these in here to make it a more compact. Um, device and that will be in part three. I also purchased this one that has uh, an on off switch and a, a digital uh, display here uh, which would be kind of nice so in the field if you um, popped your box the you know the box open and you had your little screwdriver you wouldn't need a voltmeter to determine if you wanted to adjust it to make it more universal charger. So that is what I'm probably going to do with the gray box and make it kind of a universal that I could use uh, for maybe multiple different devices with uh, you know some Anderson connectors on here so I could swap out the ends to depending on what I need to try to charge. Um, so stay tuned part three thanks for watching this Nomad 76 have a great day.